Hi, and welcome to another presentation brought to you by the Finance Explorer. I am Phil, and I will be walking you through how to build a brokerage account through TD Ameritrade. Quick notification here, turn up the volume so you can hear me. We picked TD Ameritrade uh, after a little bit of research because it gives you a low-cost way to buy and sell individual stocks of a wide variety. Uh, some like Vanguard don't let you necessarily buy over-the-counter stocks, and we'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, with their homepage here, uh, you can see they have quite a bit of support. Uh, there's a phone number listed here. Um, pretty much everything you really need. Uh, it explains right up front the $7 uh, fee for transactions. Uh, we'll get into that a little later. So to get into uh, setting up your account, uh, what you're going to need is your social security number, your employer's address and name, and the routing number for your checking account. So you'll add your contact information, uh, then move on to your citizenship, and then we'll get into what type of account do you want to open. For most people, you're going to want to do the individual. Uh, there's a Roth IRA, there's rollover IRA, there's trusts, um, all kinds of different accounts that you want to do. All of them are accessible from here. If you would like a joint account, you can select one of those uh, to add a spouse. Uh, if you're doing a retirement, you have traditional IRA, Roth IRA, rollover IRA, all kinds of IRAs. Um, you can check on our site, www.thefinanceexplorer.com, for more information on these. Uh, also, too, is the education, uh, like a 529 college plan. Uh, this was actually our first video. We built a 529 through Vanguard. Uh, you can go ahead and check that out, too. That is also on our site. Uh, this last one here for business and trust, this is really just here for completion's sake. Uh, moving over, so we pick the individual. After you select that, then it's going to give you the option to uh, select more of these. These are pretty much just asking what you intend to do with your account, uh, whether you want to buy and sell stocks, uh, whether you want to get into uh, options, forexes, or futures, or you're not sure. Um, we recommend buying and selling stocks. Forexes, uh, futures, and options are going to be beyond the scope of this video. So here we have uh, more personal information. Uh, just pound through this. Um, it's fairly simple and self-explanatory. If you need any help, these green little arrows allow you to do so. Um, these are more boxes and drop downs to add uh, annual income, net worth, liquid uh, net worth. The difference here is net worth is the total amount of worth that you would have, including houses, other real estate, cars. Uh, liquid net worth would be pretty much uh, easily accessible money, such as stocks. Uh, that you would have access to turn into money quickly, excluding houses and cars and so on. Personal affiliations, uh, they're a little tricky. That kind of is up to you, whatever and whoever you happen to be related to, or whatever your brother, uncle, aunt, uncle does or do, uh, that could factor in here. So just make sure that you have those facts in front of you. Once that's all set, you'll uh, confirm all of your information. You'll have a chance to edit that. Uh, pretty much everything you've answered will show up. It's fairly lengthy, and we just include it for completion's sake. Uh, moving on, you'll have uh, your client agreement, your account handbook, uh, business plan, um, just kind of checking boxes and making sure that you know, or they know that you know what you're doing at this point. If you have any questions about anything on this page, uh, their home page has a phone number you can call. Um, that you can have anything answered. Here's a couple of drop down boxes I had opened just because these were interesting. You can read through them if you need. Here we have the IRS W 9 tax form. Yes, this is absolutely riveting stuff. Uh, so go ahead, read through this, make sure you're uh, selecting the correct box. Um, these are pretty painless. Uh, and then you get to creating your login. This is fairly similar like any other login. Uh, you'll have your user ID and password, and then I believe four or five uh, questions to answer that will be specific to you. And that's pretty much it for that area. Next, we have uh, funding your account. This is fairly simple. We recommend express funding. You can also do checks. Uh, there's several methods here, as you can see in this slide. 
uh, something like wire or stock certificates, uh, or you could choose an option to fund later. Uh, we recommend um, either express funding or the check. If you are in fact going to write them a check, here's where you make it out to, and other information regarding that. To set up your account, here's where that routing number comes in. Uh, it's the first number there. Um, having your checkbook on hand will be useful for this part, unless you happen to be one of those people that has every number associated to them memorized. Uh, it's kind of crazy. Uh, then you're just going to punch in your bank, and whether it's checking or savings, uh, you'll go through a little bit more, confirm all of your information. Here we have a bit of an important slide. What they're talking about here is margins and options. Um, we select doing a cash account only, and that's what we're going to cover and talk about. Uh, but for completion's sake here, I did pull up their box uh, that explains what a margin and an option is. Uh, margins are privileges that allow you to borrow money to cover a portion of your trade. Uh, for instance, if you want to buy something that's worth $2,000 and you have $1,500, uh, you can basically get a loan for that missing money, uh, but there's risk involved there and so on and so forth. Um, options trading is contracts that give the owner the right but not the obligation to buy or sell uh, assets at a specific price. They're a little confusing, we're not going to mess with them, so we suggest cash uh, account only. Uh, continuing on, um, there's the margin disclosure and everything you would need to know about that. Uh, then you describe your expertise when it comes to trading. Uh, chances are, no offense, but if you're watching this video, it's probably none. So that's why we're here and we're learning. This is great. Uh, so you just go through and check whatever you like. I think a lot of this is actually optional. Um, next is here they give you the option to select electronic or paper statements. Um, pretty much always select electronic that costs more to get paper. It's clutter, it's silly, ugh. Uh, more information for completion's sake. Here's another important slide. Uh, you can also essentially turn your TD Ameritrade account into almost a account like you would use at your bank um, by selecting these boxes here. If you only want to use stocks and everything and want to limit yourself, we selected um, or unselected all of these. Uh, you'll see that all selected turn green, none is gray. Continuing through, there's more information you can click through. Uh, this is your investor profile. A lot of this just gives them information of what you know um, and kind of what to expect. Um, this is optional. You don't really need to go through it, just including to show that there is quite a bit of it. Um, investor interests here, more of the same. Whatever kind of things that you might be interested in, you can select. They'll send you information on. Uh, but that's pretty much it. And that's pretty much how you set everything up. That's the application. Great. So when you're done, your account will look something like this. We'll have a little tutorial video of what to show you. Uh, one quick note here, this entire right side with the top part that says uh, Yahoo Finance News, you can actually close all those ads out with a little uh, green X in the upper right hand corner, just giving you your account overview. That's actually nice. So now what we're going to do is show you how to execute a buy uh, of stock. So what you're going to do is you're going to select the trade box up here at the top. You're going to locate with the red arrow here uh, the buy and sell uh, stocks and ETFs. And you're going to come to this next page, which will give you the symbol lookup. And what you want to do here is put in whatever you happen to look for. Uh, say you happen to be looking up Apple. Now you can spell out the word Apple, A-P-P-L-E, like I did here, and you will get several options. So if you're not sure what exactly it is you're looking for, or you know what the company name is, but you're not sure what the symbol or the ticker is, um, those two words are pretty much synonymous. Um, you'll see down here, I have it marked with the red arrow, A-A-P-L, that is a ticker for Apple that makes the phones and the computers and is a huge, almost trillion dollar business. Of worth noting here on the far right where it says exchange, uh, this tells you where the stock is exchanged and where it's traded. Um, you'll see that Apple is on the NASDAQ. Um, you see other things here like OTC pink. What that means is over-the-counter pink slip. That is a penny stock. 
some brokerage accounts won't let you buy them. For all of the research I've done, you will be able to buy them through TD Ameritrade. Okay, so the next in order of operation here to buy a stock is to select the one that you would want. In this example, we're using Apple. Now, this first one, I'm using a limit order. Now, with the limit order, uh, this indicates the highest price you're willing to pay for a security. So, on that note, we look at the Apple price here in the red box. It says 144.02. Okay, now compare that to the price that I set at 142.00. Uh, what that means then is that this stock will not be bought until that price of 142 is reached. Additionally, we have the blue box here that shows a good till cancel. Uh, this is a date that you can set to let that order price run until that date expires. So either two things will happen. The price will fall down and you will buy your stock at that price or the order will be canceled at this date. Now compare that to a market order. A market order is going to allow you to buy a stock at that specific price at that specific time, basically as soon as possible. I included the TED note here uh, to specify what exactly goes on here. Uh, it says some market orders are not available in some markets, uh, for instance, the pink securities and OTCs um, may or may not have enough demand to actually move a market order. Just an extra little note to keep in the back of your head. Here we have the uh, days, extended hours, good till cancel, and other types of orders. Um, these are pretty much just here for completion's sake. You can select one, say that you would like to set a limit order for good till cancel. We've already been over that. This gives you the option to check uh, good till cancel plus extended hours um, and other little intricacies like that. So once you've set your order and you've got your price or your amount or whichever, uh, you will then come to a uh, review your order screen. Um, and I have the two orders that we were talking about here to uh, compare side by side. The top one is the market order. Uh, you will see that the estimated price with the large red arrow says uh, 287. Uh, that's because we were buying that at a slightly higher um, price the one below was the limit order, and our limit order was $2 below the price. So if that were actually to go into effect, you would see that this price will actually be lower. Uh, this is a strategy we use at the Finance Explorer to build our cost basis. Um, a lot of our uh, buys personally are used through the limit order. That's not to say you can't do both. Uh, if you've been watching a stock and you see it drop all of a sudden and you have money waiting to go and you're not worried about the absolute price to the penny, go ahead and do a market order. That's fine. I just bought a market order of AT&T a couple of days ago with a market order. Okay, so that's pretty much how you buy a stock. Um, going through here, there's a lot of TED notes that I thought I should include. Um, these are what the site actually says that these orders are. You can read through these. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment the site, comment the video, or ask uh, TD Ameritrade themselves through their own uh, phone numbers provided. Okay, that is it. That is how you buy a stock on uh, TD Ameritrade, how you set up your account. Uh, everything should be all set. Uh, so drop a like, subscribe, uh, check us out on Twitter. Um, our website is www.thefinanceexplorer.com. Uh, we're on Instagram, we're on YouTube, we're on Pinterest, we're on everything. So go ahead, check us out, and uh, comment our stuff. Any questions or suggestions you have for a video, uh, we would gladly love to hear from you. All right, have a good one. Bye.